Two weeks after President Irfan Ali visited residents living on the Conservancy Dam in Canal No. 1, Minister of Housing and Water Colin Kroll and the Minister within the Ministry of Public Works Deodat Indar during a follow-up visit on Tuesday, revealed that the residents will now benefit from water and electricity. A technical team from the Ghana Water Incorporated GWI assessed the situation and revealed that 42 households will immediately benefit from water supply. The pipe laying works will commence within the new week, followed by connections to the main distribution network from the Good Hope Pump Station on the Canal No. 1 Road. We would have uh, gone to see the houses, and so what we sought to do is immediately is to address the houses that are in clusters. And um, the assessment that they've, they've give, given me is that we can connect immediately for the two of the homes. The materials, it's already, uh, we already have that in stock um, at uh, GWI, and so um, there's an, an assistance of machinery that will be provided by a contractor here from Canal um, Number 1, and we'll get that done immediately. Residents were also given the opportunity to voice their concerns with the ministers. Another area of concern is improving the main access road. Minister Indar, while promising to fix the road, said that it will not be done until there is a budget. An emergency budget is currently being prepared by Vice President Barrett Jagdeo. I want you to understand also that we don't have a budget right now. There's no money in the Treasury. And there's no appropriation approved by Parliament because Parliament, in a, since the 2018 year end, there was no Parliament since then. So you must understand that we have to go to Parliament and get the money approved first before we can spend anything. Right? So I just want you to understand that we can't go spend money just like that. We don't have the authority. Parliament first got to pass the budget that we're working on. And when that's finished, then we can start appropriating and start spending to do projects and do things. Right? Meanwhile, Minister Kroll revealed that he will soon be meeting with National Industrial and Commercial Investment Limited, NISIL, on a backlog of land transfers to the ministry. These lands have been earmarked for prospective housing schemes. There are a number of areas that have been identified uh, for which transfer should have been done from by NISIL. Um, I'm meeting with the head of NISIL um, by the end of this week. Um, we're meeting on, uh, on Friday morning, in fact, and that is for us to address the backlog of the transfers of, of land to um, Ministry of Housing and Water so that we can fast track. We can fast track the allocation of house lots and to put the infrastructure in place too. The PPP government has promised to deliver a minimum of 50,000 house lots within the next five years. Reporting for the newsroom, I am Isinella Pato.